Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In the previous video, we completed designing this animated nav menu and also these menu items over here. So this is how it works. We can see that we have this menu icon over here and if I click on that, we have the menu items displayed over here and the menu icon changes into a close icon. And if I click on it once again, it changes back to the menu icon and the menu items are gone. So we had designed this in the previous video. I will also leave the link of the source code in the description. Now in this video, I'll show you how to add this uh, menu icon and these menu items to your blogger website. So let's get started. Alright, this is the dashboard of my blogger website and let's open this blog right here. So let's click on view blog. And this is how it looks right now. We can see that we have these posts over here. But on the right hand side over here, we can see that we have this menu icon. Now if I click on this, by default we have these uh, menu items displayed over here. Now we don't want to display these things over here, we want to display these menu items right here. So for that we have to make some changes in the code of our theme. And what we will do is we'll just replace this menu icon with this icon right here. So the first thing we will do is we'll just locate this menu icon in the theme code. So if you right click over here and click on inspect. Here we can see we have the markup of our website displayed over here. If we scroll up, we can see that we have this division with the class of hamburger section and container. And above that we have the main header which contains the heading and also the search icon. Now what we are interested is in this hamburger section. So let's go ahead and find this class in our theme code. So we'll just search for class equals and hamburger section. So let's go back to the dashboard and let's go to theme. And by the way, I'm using this theme called Notable Light, which comes by default with Blogger. So here you can see this theme right here. Right now, let's click on this arrow and click on Edit HTML. Right now, let's search for this class over here called Hamburger Section. So let's go back and let's press Control F or Command F. And let's type class equals Hamburger Section. And uh, let's press enter. And here we can see we have this division with the class of hamburger section. And in this we have this line of code which displays this button right here. So what we're going to do is we'll just uh, delete this. Or let me just comment this. So I'll just press less than exclamation hyphen hyphen. And let's close the comment over here. Let's press hyphen hyphen greater than. Right now let's add some text over here so that uh, we know that we are in the correct place. So let's just type menu here and let's press save. And let's go to our website and uh, let's refresh this page. And now here we can see instead of the menu icon we have the text displayed over here. So now we can go ahead and add any code over here and it will be displayed over here. Now before adding the HTML, CSS and JavaScript to our theme, let's make some changes in this menu icon over here. So let's go to the source code. And if you go to the style or CSS file, here we can see we have the CSS of the menu items. And if we take a look at the CSS of the menu container, we can see that we are setting the position to absolute. Now in our blogger website, we don't want to have an absolute position. We want to have the icon displayed over here in place of this menu here text. So what we're going to do is we're going to just delete these three lines of code. And now if you go back to the browser, here we can see that we have the menu displayed at the default position. And we are not forcing any position on this. Right now let's click on this menu icon. And we can see that the menu items are displayed over here, but they are on the right side. Now we want to set the position of these menu items relative to this uh, menu icon over here. So what we're going to do is let's go back and uh, let's go to the HTML. And we're going to add everything inside a container. So let's create a division with a class of menu main container. And let's just cut this end tag from here and let's paste it down here. And now we can see the menu container which has uh, this menu icon. And also the menu items container which has all these menu items over here. Both of them are inside this menu main container division. Now what we're going to do is we're going to set a position of relative to this menu main container and we're going to set this menu items container position 
to absolute so that it will be positioned relative to this menu main container so let's go to our style CSS file and uh, here let's type menu main container and uh, let's set the position to relative and let's see what is the width of this uh, division right here so let's type background red and now we can see that the width of this division is 100% of the screen. So let's change the width. Let's change it to 40 pixels. And now we can see we have the correct width. And now if we click on this icon, we can see that the menu items are displayed over here relative to this uh, icon. Let's go back to our CSS and let's go to the menu items container. And here let's set the position. So right now we have set the right position to 40 pixels. Let's change it to 0 and we'll change the top position to 50 pixels right now let's go back and uh, let's click on this icon and we have the menu items displayed in the correct place let's just add a margin left to this icon so that we can see it clearly so let's go back and uh, here let's remove this background color and uh, let's type margin left and uh, let's just add 200 pixels and now if we click on this icon we have the menu items displayed over here so everything works all right Right now let's remove this margin left and now let's add this code to our blogger website let's go to our theme code and here instead of menu here let's add the html so let's go back to our source code let's go to the html file and let's copy everything from here till here and let's paste it over here and here we can see we have all these menu icons and you can go ahead and change the link over here in the href attribute you can just add the link of the about page over here in the same way you can go ahead and change the links of all these menu items and if you want to add a new menu item you can just copy and paste this down and change this text and this link and if you want to remove one of these you can just delete this list item from here right now let's add the css so let's scroll up and here we can see this is all the css of the theme let's go to the end and here let's make some space and let's go back to our source code and let's go to the CSS file and let's copy all the CSS from here and let's paste it over here now the last thing we need to do is add the JavaScript so let's go back to our source code let's go to the main.js file and let's copy everything from here and let's scroll down and let's go to the end and here I'll just create a script tag and let's paste the javascript over here right now let's click on save and let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page and here we can see that the icon is displayed over here now we have to move this a little bit to the top to align it with this search text over here right now let's click on this icon and we have the menu items displayed over here but we have some problems in the css the first thing we need to do is uh, we need to bring it to the top so we need to set a z index and the next thing we need to do is uh, we need to set all these alphabets one next to the other right now it is vertical so let's right click over here and click on inspect and let's see what is the problem let's click on this menu items container and let's see whether we have some default styles added by the theme so let's scroll down And here we can see we have this property word break and it is set to break word so if i remove this we can see we have the correct styling so what we will do is we will reset the value of word break in all the list items in the menu items container so let's scroll up and let's click on this first list item and here if i just type word break and if i set it to normal we can see that everything looks all right right now let's go ahead and set a z index so let's click on this menu items container and uh, here let's add a z index and uh, let's set it to let's try 300 and it looks all right now we have set the word break to only the first list item so that's why it is displayed correctly all the others need to have this style and the last thing we will do is we'll just bring this up a little bit so let's select this menu main container and let's add margin top so let's type margin top and let's try negative 5 pixels 
and I think that looks all right. So we need to add margin top of negative five pixels to the menu main container. And we need to set the word break to normal for all the list items in the menu items container. And we also need to add a Z index for this menu items container. So let's add all these styles. Let's go to our theme code and let's go to the CSS. And here for the menu main container, let's type margin top of negative five pixels. And let's go to the menu items container. And here we will set a Z index and let's set it to 300. And let's select all the list items. So here I'll just type menu items container, ULLI, and let's type word break and let's set it to normal. And let's click on save. Right now, let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page. And now we can see that the menu icon is in the correct place. Let's click on it. And we have the menu items displayed over here and let's click on the close icon and it goes back and we have this menu icon back let's scroll down and let's scroll up and here also we have the menu icon let's click on that and we have the menu items displayed over here so everything looks all right let's open a post and here also we have this menu icon let's click on that and everything works all right so that's basically how you can add an animated menu to your blogger website and I will leave the link of the source code in the description so you can just go ahead and copy and paste it to your website. And if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.